Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Javin from YourEasyFilm.com and in this month we want to start with some beginner tutorials for you guys and today we're going to start with scaling and positioning which is also known as the Ken Burns effect. Let's go! So basically the Ken Burns effect is exactly what you're gonna see here right now. You have a stabilized clip from your tripod or probably just an image you shot and you wanna animate this clip to create a moving sequence. Okay, let's jump into Premiere. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drag and drop our clip into the timeline. Make sure that your clip is selected and go over the effect controls. Make sure you are at the beginning of the clip and we're gonna select the stopwatch icon of scale and position. Premiere will automatically create two keyframes and we can start with the effect. So now we're gonna scroll a little bit forward to the point where we wanna let this animation end. And we're gonna scale in a little bit and also reposition our clip. And as you can see, Premiere Pro will automatically create two new keyframes. So we are basically done with the effect, but I would highly recommend selecting both of the keyframes, right click with your mouse and select Ease In to let this effect look a little bit smoother in the end. Of course you can play with the settings and moving the keyframes a little bit forward or a little bit back ones, like whatever you want. Okay guys, that was a quick tutorial about the Ken Burns effect and about scaling and positioning. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Peace out.